Welcome to Brain Bite Size. Whether you're an INTJ or no one, stick around because we're breaking down seven things that only true INTJs will fully get. By the end of this video, you'll have a whole new understanding of this unique personality type. Plus, if you aren't an INTJ, you'll gain insights that could make your relationships with them smoother. Number seven, they live in the future. One of the key traits of an INTJ is their ability to envision what's next. Most people focus on the present moment, right? Not INTJs. They're constantly thinking ahead, imagining the future in vivid detail. For them, it's not just about dreaming. They work backward from that vision to determine their steps to get there. INTJs have a dominant cognitive function called introverted intuition. This makes them natural planners. Their minds always forecast possible outcomes for themselves and everything they're involved in. This focus on the future can be a strength and a potential challenge. While it helps them achieve big things, it can sometimes cause them to miss out on enjoying the present. This tendency also makes INTJs excellent problem solvers. They see not only what's wrong, but how it could be fixed down the road. But here's the thing. Others might see them as distant or overly serious because they're so focused on the future. They aren't always the live in the moment type. If you've ever been around an INTJ, you might notice how they always have a plan for the next step, even if the rest of us are still figuring out what's happening now. Number six, they get told to cheer up a lot. Have you ever told someone to cheer up only to discover nothing was wrong? That happens to INTJs all the time. They often have a serious or neutral expression, which leads others to assume they're upset, stressed, or worried. In reality, they're likely just fine. They're simply not the type to walk around grinning for no reason. INTJs keep their emotions private. This isn't because they don't feel anything. They don't see the need to express those feelings constantly, especially around people they don't trust deeply. For them, emotional displays are reserved for close relationships, and even then, they tend to control things. This trait can frustrate their friends and family, who might feel like INTJs are too stoic. It's not that they're cold or detached, they just don't feel the need to put on a show of happiness or excitement. If you're close to an INTJ, you'll know that their calm, serious exterior hides a deeply caring individual who simply shows their emotions differently. Number five, they stick to their own moral code peer pressure. Not an issue for an INTJ. They have a strong moral compass and don't bend it for anyone. While many people might go along with the crowd to fit in, an INTJ sticks to what they believe is right. This can sometimes make them seem stubborn, but it reflects their commitment to their values. INTJs rely on their intuition and their inner sense of right and wrong. They don't care much about what society or other people think is acceptable if it goes against their beliefs. This can make them seem a bit aloof or even rebellious. But to them, it's about staying true to themselves. Of course, this doesn't mean they're rigid in every aspect of life. An INTJ can adjust when they see a good reason for it. But when it comes to their core beliefs, they won't budge. This strong sense of self helps them navigate life confidently without constantly second-guessing their choices. If you're friends with an INTJ, don't try to sway them to fit in. They'll appreciate you more for accepting their individuality. Number four, they can get overstimulated NTJs are thinkers. They spend a lot of time in their heads, analyzing, planning, and thinking about the future. But because they're so mentally focused, they can become easily overwhelmed by too much sensory input. Loud noises, crowded spaces, or too much visual stimulation can make them feel drained. This comes from INTJs having an inferior extroverted sensing function, which means they're not naturally in tune with the outside world like other personalities. While they can be fully aware of their surroundings, they often find themselves more comfortable in their thoughts than noisy or chaotic environments. As INTJs grow older, they learn to manage this overstimulation better. They become more capable of handling sensory input without feeling overwhelmed. However, even as they mature, they'll still prefer quiet, calm environments where they can focus. If you know an INTJ, understand that their need for peace isn't them being antisocial. It's how they recharge. Number three, they hate inefficiency. One of the biggest pet peeves of any INTJ is inefficiency. They can't stand seeing things done in a way that wastes time or resources. Whether at work, in a group project, or even in their personal lives, INTJs expect things to run smoothly and logically. Because they're so focused on achieving goals, INTJs naturally seek the most efficient way to get things done. They're incredibly organized and expect the same level of organization from those around them. This can sometimes cause tension with others who don't share their drive for efficiency. When an INTJ sees someone lazy or procrastinating, it can drive them crazy. It's not just about wanting things to be perfect, it's about their deep need to see progress and results. If you're working with an INTJ, you'll quickly learn that good enough doesn't cut it. They always aim for excellence. Number two, they're always prepared. If you're the type of person who likes to wing it, you and an INTJ might clash. 
For INTJs, planning is everything. They don't just have a plan. They have a backup plan for their plan, and sometimes even a backup for the backup. It's how they stay ahead of potential problems and keep things running smoothly. Spontaneity isn't in an INTJ's vocabulary. They like to know what will happen and be prepared for it. While some people enjoy going with the flow, INTJs find comfort in knowing they've considered every possible scenario and have a strategy in place. This preparedness extends to all areas of their life. Whether it's their career, relationships, or even a casual outing, INTJs want to know what to expect and be ready for anything. While this might seem over the top, it helps INTJs feel secure and in control. Number one, they aren't fans of diplomacy. In the professional world, diplomacy and small talk are often necessary skills. But for INTJs, this can be exhausting. They'd rather focus on getting the job done than navigating office politics or engaging in meaningless chit-chat. INTJs are straightforward and they value honesty over pleasantries. While they can learn to be diplomatic, it takes time to come naturally. Socializing for the sake of it feels like a waste of time to an INTJ. They'd much rather engage in meaningful conversations or work on solving problems than sugarcoating the truth to avoid hurting someone's feelings. This can sometimes make INTJs seem cold or detached in social settings, especially at work. However, their focus on the task sets them apart as efficient, high-achieving individuals. If you're close to an INTJ, you've probably noticed they aren't ones for small talk. But when you need a solution, they're the first person to call. And there you have it. Seven things that only real INTJs understand. You probably recognize yourself in many of these traits if you're an INTJ. If you're not, hopefully, you now have a better understanding of the INTJ personality and how they think. Remember, INTJs aren't cold or distant, they have a different way of approaching life. Their unique combination of future-oriented thinking, emotional privacy, and a strong moral compass makes them stand out in a world that often values the present moment and fits in. If you know an INTJ, take a moment to appreciate their strengths and understand that their way of thinking is what helps them excel. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Also, comment below and share your experiences or thoughts about INTJs. See you in the next video!